Germans aren't born out of laying around on their asses. We've been born out of conquering a world. We're the dominant species. We built all this. We're powerful and we're beautiful and we're ready to build the next level of civilization in God's plan. But you must stop bowing to those who want to make you a victim. You must become the victor. If you love God and you want to build a pro-human future, then you are an enemy of the New World Order and Satanism. They want us shut down because we have the spirit. I'm jacked into the source. I know the secret and I want to see you empowered. But you have to believe in yourself first. This is the truth and everyone knows it. Ladies and gentlemen, the other day I went through the nominations for the 2024 Video Game Awards. And you saw we all voted together. And here's the deal. There was one category that I missed. One very important category. A category that sits in distinction all on its own. And that is the winner of the DEI Slop Flop of the Year for being the biggest commercial and critical failure of the year. This is a very, very, very important honor that we need to put on one of these games, one of these games that have helped to ruin and discredit not just individuals, but the company that they work for, have been a financial disaster. And I think that we need to go one by one. So first of all, Concord. I mean, of course, this one is a top contender. You know, we're talking $400 million blown budget. We're talking a game that barely sold any copies, was pulled from the shelves within two weeks, caused Sony nothing but headaches. I mean, this was a very, very, very significant example of DEI absolutely crippling a company and them not having the ability to criticize the bad ideas the way that they need to be criticized. So, I think Concord is a top contender. Dragon Age the Veil Guard. Now, this one, this one's up there. This one's definitely up there. Dragon Age the Veil Guard. Taking something that people loved, absolutely loved, which was Dragon Age Origins, and taking a massive dump on it. This one also has within it not only the you know massive commercial flop, the lack of enthusiasm, the absolutely piss poor abysmal dialogue that even people that would be amenable to this game are now coming out and saying, yeah, the dialogue is shocking, uh, bad puzzles, but also this is a game that well it's involved in a scandal, isn't it? Because the gaming press tried to lie to people in order to get them to buy this game, didn't they? Nines and tens out of tens this game was given before the audience could see the truth, rip off the mask, and realize this game was a big steamy pile of shit. So, the gaming press, some of the biggest outlets in games, quote-unquote, journalism, gave this game rave reviews before you, the customer, got your hands on it only to realize you had been duped. You had been lied to. The game was shocking. And if you want to know how shocking it is, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something that not a single one of you is going to want to see. But I had to see it. And so you have to see it. I had to see it. So you have to see it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Brace yourself. Let me see if I can't get this. There you go. There you go. Don't want you to miss anyone. Do I see? Oh my God! I don't know. I might need to take a closer look. Look fast. You know how to welcome a girl back. I will destroy anything that ever tries to hurt you. Oh, sweet talker. 
So we're together oh. now. I hope so. I don't oh, know. God. I've never done this before. Oh. I've had sex. I meant being someone's oh. lover. I'm never calling you that. Ever. <laughs> Consort? No. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Oh. I don't want to mess this up. How do I... <sighs> oh, How do dragons show that they care about their mates? Huh. Sexy growls? Sometimes little bits of fire and love bites? Uh, that, um... Well, that sounds really great to me. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> oh, 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 oh yes, God, please. it hurts. It hurts. Oh, God. Oh, man, I nearly threw up. I nearly vomited. Oh, my God, that's so disgusting. But if I... Oh, I had to see it, so now you all have to see it. Aren't you so glad? Aren't you so glad? I hate this game so much. It's so disgusting. These people on the left are so vile. Oh my god. Alright, so so Dragon Age the Veil Guard is a top contender. Dustborn I, I don't I, I think that Dustborn deserves to be nominated, but I think that at the end of the day, Dustborn, while it was a a moment that we could all laugh at a game at how absolutely abysmal it was. I don't think it really had the financial blow or the reputation to really do some damage. People just laughed at it. It was just woke trash. Um, Star Wars Outlaws. That game was a financial flop. It was embarrassing. They tried to go with a, you know, a female Luke Skywalker, which is always a mistake. Having a female lead in a Star Wars game, that is absolutely terrible. That doesn't mean that you can't have female characters in a Star Wars game. But at the end of the day, if they were going to do something like that, they should have allowed you to choose between a male and a female. They should have given you the option to choose, which is what they do in a lot of games, like Mass Effect. Mass Effect, they had a choice where you could play as a male and a female. When it comes to Assassin's Creed, you know, they've, they've gone with the thing where you could choose a male or female. But the only thing that is acceptable to these degenerate, low-IQ, bottom-feeding freaks that want to ruin everything that they touch... Um, it's only okay to have one gender if it's a if it's a female. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Abysmal. Um, but we, we don't need to say any more about Star Wars Outlaws. You know it. I know it. It was a steaming pile of garbage. It helped set in motion the reputational, absolutely evident collapse that Ubisoft is now under. Uh, Ubisoft has never been in a worse position right now. And when you have people that are at the upper echelon of Ubisoft coming out with statements, and I'll, I'll do a video on this later, basically coming out that the devs for uh, for Assassin's Creed Shadow say that the game is the worst thing they've ever seen. Yeah, it's a pretty clear sign that you, you've gone too far. Um, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. That game redefined what it is to be a pile of garbage. After a string of successes with, you know, the Arkham series. Um, yeah, that, that basically killed the live service model of the game. Nobody's playing it. It's just, it, it's dead. Nobody even talks about it anymore. It has basically gone through its entire lifespan in a couple of months. It's, it's pathetic. And then Unknown 9 Awakening, another woke flop, another embarrassing piece of shit. I think, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, Dragon Age the Veil Guard wins. I think this was one of the most disappointing in the Dragon Age series. I think they need to do a lot of firing. I think that there are a lot of people that need to just be escorted out of the building. I think they need to... Uh, first, I think they need to apologize. They need to apologize to gamers. They need to apologize to their audience. They need to apologize to a lot of people. Because this game was a steaming pile of garbage. It was embarrassing. It was pathetic. They didn't have any faith in it. There's no DLC going forward. And the fact that we have to stomach through scenes like the one that I, you know, that I showed you, it's just, it's more evidence of the fact that they didn't even really try with this game. It was just propaganda. 
woke garbage crammed into a game, and then for them to have the audacity to try to bribe, well, either bribe through money or favors or insider access or, or some combination, something, something was not right. Something was foul in the state of Denmark. It didn't make any sense that all of these companies gave the game 9s and 10s out of 10s, gave it nearly perfect scores, had the same sort of rhetoric, a return to form for Bioware, had the same sort of terminology, all directed at trying to convince you to buy a game that they knew damn well was going to be something that the audience didn't want. Even Jason Schreier admitted that he knew the game wasn't good, but he just wanted to quote-unquote own the chuts. This game, in its entirety, deserves to be here and more. Bioware deserves to be the laughing stock of the gaming industry now and forevermore for this abomination. And every one of these freaks that they hired to put this thing together, those people need to be publicly dragged, metaphorically. They need to have their reputation demoted about 10 points. You know, if if they're on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, they need to go from a 10 if they were really, really good in the past to about a 0. If they were at like a 7, well, then they're at a negative, they're at a negative 3, okay? There needs to be a standard set, and I think Dragon Age the Veil Guard sets the standard of what not to do in every conceivable way. It sets a metric for what not to do. And by the way, this is one of the least innovative games I've ever seen. You know what's you know what's really, really interesting? You know what's really interesting. I saw something, and I know I know a lot of you are gonna look at this and you're gonna be like, come on, that, that's stupid, that's silly. But I've actually never really seen something like this, and, and it really kind of got my noggin jogging. So this is from a Japanese company, and it, it, I, again, I know a lot of people are going to be like, huh? But this, right here, I want to show this to you, all right? So apparently this is this is a, um, this is an animation in a game. I, I don't, I don't know what game it is, but this is an animation in a game, and I think that this could be incorporated into some sort of MMO or some sort of game where you have dialogue options with romanceable characters where basically you go in for a hug and just, just take a watch. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Like, really? Yes. Thinking... Thinking about things that we haven't seen. I've never seen that in a game before. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm playing the wrong type of games, but I've never seen, like, I'm not saying to do exactly that, but I'm saying, like, having a more, having a more noticeable connection between the player and the characters so that it's not just like a cutscene, but you feel some sort of connection to these characters that you're supposed to be bonding with. I'm just saying, if you had more scenes like that, if you had more things that sort of connected you to the world and made you feel like you were a part of it, I'm just saying it couldn't hurt. Not to mention the fact that this video is the goddamn palate cleanser to the shit that you just watched from Dragon Age the Veil Guard. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's so much better than what you get from all these other all these other Western studios that make the women ugly, make them standoffish, add this feminism into the game, this left-wing rock gut degenerate bottom feeding low IQ trash. It would just be nice if we could have attractive women in the game, if we could have great stories, if we could have puzzles that aren't made for retards. If we could just have a game that feels like it's a game and is an actual challenge and challenges us not just in terms of what our abilities are in the game, but mentally as well. Challenges our worldview, challenges our perspective, has different bits of the game where you can choose 
what to do with your character. You want to let somebody go? You want to keep somebody on? You want to romance somebody? You want, it's like, you should have more choice within the bounds of a, uh, within the bounds of a game that is typical for a fantasy setting. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.